It's about 6, 6.30 in the morning right now. Sunrises here are beautiful. Uh, I don't like 
like that. It makes me sad. Um, today is the second day of my trip. I got into Amarillo, Texas last night. Um, I saw this Cadillac uh, arch thing and then drove through historical 66th district here in town. And then I went to uh, the big steakhouse last night. Didn't get the big steak, there was a guy there though who was doing the challenge when I was there. He was about 20 minutes left and it looked like he was starting to tap out. Um, I think after a day of hiking and lifting, I might have been able to do that challenge. You gotta eat a, uh, a 72 ounce steak and the mashed potatoes in under an hour. Um, they had him up on a, a, a table in the center of the room, the dining room there. Um, they had a timer. Um, like several timers behind him. That was pretty cool. Today, I'm gonna go to uh, Duro Canyon Park. I'm gonna go see the Lighthouse Rock, um, do a little hiking here, and then I'm gonna get on the rest of my trip to Kansas City today. Okie dokie, let's get to it. here at the Lighthouse Trail in Duro Canyon Park. Um, it's supposed to be a hot one today. They say they don't want us hiking between 11 and 5 on this trail because of the heat. So I'm gonna try and make it quick here. Let's get to it. But look, I mean, it's so beautiful. Jesus, man, the drive-in. I don't know if my camera did any justice to it, but it is, it is beautiful here. I mean, just look around. Let's get to it. through jungle now.
got to go all the way back that way and around that mountain. Oh boy. Just got up to me. Two. Lighthouses. Looks like there's another path over there. Maybe we get shot to that. Oh, look, I bet you that's a fairly pretty view. But I've got to get to Kansas City today, and I've got to walk all the way back. So I am going to not do that today. I'm just going to make it down. This uh, mountain. Six now, 12, 11, just made it down to the bottom. Started at 9.20, of course I take pictures, that sort of thing, but really didn't stop other than at the end throughout, so uh, that kind of tells you how much time it takes. But otherwise it's great, gotta keep moving. Wednesday, April. <laughs> it's not April. It's Wednesday, July 19th. Uh, just woke up, slept in uh, the motel here. A uh, little tired. Uh, I fell asleep pretty hard, but just the blanket isn't isn't heavy enough for me. I like a little weight on me. You know, I like to be I like to be crushed by my blanket. Um, <laughs> I'm in Kansas City right now, though. Heading up to Michigan. I'm gonna be in Michigan for a while see some beaches, do some hiking, and then I'm heading home the rest of the way to Pennsylvania. So I'm gonna get back on the road though. Get to it. Whoop. It's starting to get sunny now. It's just really cloudy this morning and it made me sort of miss El Paso. So I'm here in Missouri at the Mark Twain uh, Memorial Shrine and Lake. I just saw a sign on the interstate, decided I should stop here, check it out. So I'm gonna see what it's like. of old Mark Twain, also known as Samuel Longshore Clemens.
<laughs> this would be pretty cool. View overlook. Oh, please. Cool. This is the area Mark Twain was born in. Uh, just just got out of the museum. Beautiful lake. Um, could do some swimming and all that fun stuff here. Beautiful spot here in Missouri, near Florida, Missouri. Um, yeah, so I, I, I recommend if you're ever this way, take a stop, check it out, get to read some some cool Mark Twain quotes. Um, but I'm gonna get back in the car. Keep going on my journey here now. Just saw this big steep dune and I want to climb up it. Uh, it's probably gonna take a while. Just talked to a guy lighter than me, he said it took him 37 minutes on the way up. I'm gonna see what I can do. I'm gonna switch to the GoPro now, put this camera away, keep it safe.
go all the way back up.
<laughs> hello, hello, and good morning. Uh, so I've, I've spent some time here in Michigan, and I'm getting ready to head home all the way back to my family house, uh, just north of Pittsburgh, nearest town is Catani. Um, it says about a seven and a half hour drive today. It's obviously without stops. I'm avoiding tolls um, too. I like to avoid tolls. Um, so I'm going to do that here today. He left Kai, his childhood companion, in charge. Welcome to Ohio. Welcome to Ohio. Companion, in charge of the fight against cat. Poor man's Pennsylvania. It was then that Ban of Benoik sent his son. Um, so I figured I'd do a little. A uh, section here on travel physical therapy. Um, if you're someone just watching this and you're you're not a travel physical therapist and you're not interested in any of this, the timestamp is below if you want to skip ahead. But if you are a therapist, uh, travel physical therapist, OT, PTA, um, maybe even nursing, you know, it's, they, they what we they, what they do is pretty similar. Um, Stick around, listen to some of this stuff. So these are some of the questions I had uh, when I was getting into the profession. Maybe I'll, I'll just answer some of these here. Um, so how does it work? And you get a travel agency. So that's who you work for. That's who will send you money. That's where your benefits come from and all that fun stuff. So right now I'm working for AMN. They used to be Med Travelers. So how do you get into it? Yeah, you work for a travel agency. They then set you up with different jobs. Say right now I'm working for AMN. Say you want to work in Alaska. You tell them, I want to work in Alaska. And they send you a list of available jobs. Your recruiter does. They're the ones that connect you to the jobs and the job sites and, and everything like that. Your agency handles that process, connects you with the facility. You interview just like you would for a normal job. For, for me though, it's usually on the phone because everywhere is far away. So yeah, once you interview over the phone, if you like them, they like you, they make an offer and you can recept, accept or reject that. And the contract that you lay out then for how long you work there, whatever site you're working for is paying your travel agency and then your travel agency pays you. But most travel companies, including mine, both of the ones I've worked for, you get paid weekly. Uh, which is nice. You get paid every Friday. Usually, it's usually already there for me. It's been Thursday. That's nice. So I guess some of the other things is, do they find housing for you? Some places do. I usually like to find my own though. I, I go through Airbnb or Furnish Finder to find my housing. It's nice on Airbnb. You can look, you put in the dates you're gonna be there and then if it's available, you just get that whole thing that available time. Most of the time with Furnish Finder, um, but especially with Furnish Finder though, make sure if you're going there, get a lease, you know, to protect you. And I mean, it's gonna protect the renter too, but that's, that's something you can hold up if they start to push back on something. Um, and that's what I really like. It's, it's more of a, the lease control through Furnish Finder. I really like that. Airbnb to me sometimes is, is a little sketchy. You know, I had one really bad experience. You know, maybe I'll make a video about uh, that sometime, but I usually use Furnish Fine. And that, then once your contract ends, you're done. Um, you do have the option to extend. If that place likes you and you like them, you could potentially extend at that place. So that's just re-upping the contract. Just figured I'd answer some of the basic questions. I think I covered all the big ones I had. If you have any more, you can put them down in the comments to this video. Otherwise, back to the trip. In his dreams, it was built in a steep granite island. I 
I leapt over him and climbed on up the hill. It was a hard night, a bad night. Back home at 2,269 miles from El Paso to home. I need some gas. <laughs> well, I'm here. That's my trip. Uh, thanks for watching. If you have any questions or or anything else you want to know, let me know. If you have any other uh, ideas for videos that you wanted from me, let me know that too in the comments below. Otherwise, thank you and goodbye.